Electricity can be dangerous. While electricity has long been recognized as a serious occupational hazard, what makes electricity even more dangerous is that employees do not understand all the potential electrical hazards that may be present in their work environments. Let us understand this scenario with the help of an example. A maintenance man was asked to repair a light fixture on the ceiling of a warehouse. He used a motorized lift to get up to the 227 volt fixture. Since he had some training in working around electricity, he did not bother to turn off the power supply to the lights. He planned to simply avoid the live wires as he worked. Unfortunately for the maintenance man, an error had occurred during the installation phase and the black and white wires were reversed. Normally, the black wires would be live, but in this case, the white wires were the live ones. Using a wire stripper, he began to strip one of the white wires, believing it to be neutral. This is a nightmare scenario with potentially devastating consequences. The electric current could pass from the live wire to the stripper, then through the man's hand and body to the ground. This could not only lead to life-threatening burns, but could also be fatal. This example demonstrates that there is a risk of electrical shock and electrocution while working with tools and equipment around sources of electricity. Employees can protect themselves and their coworkers by remembering to always de-energize electrical circuits before work operations begin. In the case of our example, the maintenance man should have turned off the power supply to the lights before starting the maintenance work. Moreover, the de-energized electrical components should be locked out or tagged to prevent accidental re-energizing of circuits during servicing or maintenance operations. It is best to always assume that any electrical component has the potential to be deadly and proper precautions must be taken before handling it. While anyone can be exposed to electrical hazards at home or at work, the risk is greater for workers, as work sites are cluttered with tools and materials and exposed to open weather conditions. Therefore, it is important for employers across industry and various occupational groups to implement appropriate controls to protect workers from electrical injury and provide adequate training to employees to ensure they're able to recognize electrical hazards in their workplaces.